All right, everyone, so you all remember Chris and Alyssa from Married at First Sight a few weeks ago? Well, I've got amazing news here because I have actually found her a match. Just because of my looks, that means nothing for you. You know what I mean? Because if that were it, then right now you'd be more into me. And it's not fair and it's not what I want. I don't think I have ever been so perplexed by the way another human being talks before. As this video progresses, you're going to be wondering to yourself, what is this man saying? Is he speaking any kind of language of some sort? Don't worry, you're not having a stroke. This man is just from another dimension. That's the best conclusion I've come up with. Throughout this entire season, this man said a lot of things. None of them made sense. Not a single one. Not one sentence made any sense. I've been in you know something very similar where I've just completely gone to the other end of the spectrum and compromised and tried and really tried to go through the motions. And there was no clarity there for me. And it was just... Every time Zach does talk, I tend to space out. I feel like he just talks in circles and doesn't really ever make a point. It's quite bizarre because if you weren't paying attention, you might actually think he's speaking English. But when you really pay attention and think about what he's saying, you realize that he speaks as if he's always trying to reach the minimum word count on an essay. He likes to use words such as compromise and clarity and perspective and emotions and clarity, but I'm not entirely convinced that he knows what any of those words actually mean. So anyway, let me bring you up to speed here. Zach and Mindy got married at first sight, and for the first few days, things seemed to be going pretty well. I actually didn't even notice this guy at all until one conversation early on between he and his wife. She had noticed that he was subtly making it clear that he wasn't that attracted to her. Now, of course, this is an awkward situation no matter what, but I think she may have brought it up a little bit too early. Even though they're getting married, they still are strangers, and they should let it evolve naturally. At the same time, she's definitely not wrong. He's just not into her and he refuses to come out and say it. One of my highlights of today was getting to like hang out with the other couples. It was really cool just kind of like seeing everybody going through the same experience as us and just talking about like, you know, what's been going great with us and what's been maybe not going so great and stuff. I couldn't help but be extremely curious. What was that like? Now, it's probably not a good idea to be constantly comparing yourself to the other couples on the show, but also it must be difficult to see everybody else hanging out and getting along and your husband is nowhere to be found. He's just off doing his own thing. I kind of just said like, I just don't know. Um, it's so hard to see how he feels about me and stuff. You know, it's, it's a matter of trying to build an attraction. And thank God you're on the same page. It's just a matter of building an attraction. And in order to do that, I need to be away from you forever. Seriously, at one point early on, he says the best indicator on if he's falling in love is if he misses that person when they're gone, which I understand to an extent. That makes sense. But when you haven't even tried to make an effort in getting to know somebody, why would you miss them? Just because of my looks, that means nothing for you. You know what I mean? Because if that were it, then right now you'd be more into me. Yeah, it's not just about your looks, but do you think everyone finds you attractive? Like, do you think that you've led with your looks most of the time, or...? I like how by default he just assumes, oh, obviously she finds me attractive, that's not the issue here. It's as if he doesn't think that he has to earn her attraction and respect, and that it's all on her. Well, clearly I am very attractive, so if you aren't into me yet, that's a good thing because you're not, you're not superficial, you're not surface level like I am. Are, are you saying I engage based on my looks? Yeah. Oh, no. Really? No, I mean... Terrible liar. No, in the sense of not everybody's into that. You know what I mean? And just, no. Not everybody's into that. He refers to himself as that, meaning that not everybody's into just purely attractive, good-looking people. Some people look for a little bit more than that. Like, to me, it's a huge turn-off, someone that's, like, presumptuous, that just, like, I'm really hot, everyone's gonna like me. Do you care about me building an attraction to you? So, and to answer that question is... So, to answer that question, I'm just gonna say a bunch of words in a random order. Good luck figuring it out. But seriously, it's a valid question. Like, he doesn't stop and think, wait a minute, maybe I should think about how I'm coming off. Maybe I should think about if she's building an attraction to me. He's already under the assumption that, of course, she's attracted to me. So, I don't really have to work at this at all. Obviously, I'm the best. Is when you ask me these things, you ask me about my side and how I feel. You know, I, I like style, I like looks. I love my kids, I love real estate, I love ceramics, I love my job, I, I love wrestling. And the thing is, is from a first impression attraction, I, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter for me. All right, so what did he say? Who the hell knows? He looks just as confused as I do right now. All right, so let's try to figure this out. He said from a first impression attraction, it just doesn't matter to him. He keeps insisting that he needs to work on building attraction, but then he'll also list off all the things that he likes about her, which makes it seem like the only thing that's holding him back is the physical attraction. You came down the aisle and I was like, she's super pretty. She has dark hair, dark eyes. These are pretty qualities that I like, right? Everything collectively is a matter of, it's an observation and it's a matter of, 
And that's why I can openly say, like, here's how you build an attraction. There, there's no assumption that, and you've only, you've clarified that. I like how she smiles for a second because he says something nice, but then he immediately just goes right back into this random word salad about compromising and clarity or what building or whatever the hell he's talking about. So I hear those words that you say. Um, so if you ask me how I feel, and you ask me about my attraction, my response is going to be X, based on my feelings. God, could you imagine what it's like to just ask this guy to pass the broccoli at dinner? Well, here's what I would say is, uh, from the perspective of myself in accordance with the broccoli, there are a number of things to clarify in order for it to be sustenance in my upcoming life in meals and tending to... I kind of got the feeling, though, that it was all about you trying to build this attraction and trying you're in a weird place and this and that and I I, I maybe I came across rude or whatever but I told you that it's not about physical with me it's right. like all right so here they are the next day having the same conversation over again and the reason they have to keep doing this is because this man is the most unclear person in the history of the world and I was more speaking to my feeling towards you not saying disregarding your feeling towards me at all and and I should have even never had that approach. I was like shaking, just like thinking I just made a big mistake. I would say that it is evident that uh, a mistake has been clarified in terms of the definition of, um, I just realized I never learned how to talk. I'm really sorry about this. You know, still you trying to process the thought of me saying such words, right? And me where I'm just like, I say it, I'm like, oh cool, I'm sorry I didn't realize that. And I move on from it, understanding like, no, 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 wait, come back because I still feel this way, right? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't even know what to say anymore, because I have no idea what he's saying. What am I supposed to comment on? How am I supposed to do commentary on this? Explain it to me. Dude, if you don't want to be in this marriage, just say so. That's all you got to do is be like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. It's so obvious. You know, I, I can't assume that you're just over it. Yeah. Until we can both agree that we've and I was more speaking to good about our communication. My, we moved past that's why I can feeling. openly and say, then maybe like, now here's I can how you learn the track. Saying, like, there, there's no assumption that, and, and you've only, you've, at all. and you know, that's an evolution process. But I, I want to explain to her that that open communication. What's wrong with you? What are you talking about? Dialogue is what I need in marriage. You sound insane. All right, I need a bit of a break from this guy. Let's check in on some of the other marriages. But really quick, I just want to give a reminder to check out the podcast if you're interested. The links will be in the description, and episodes are posted every single Thursday. Anyway, let us check in on the other marriages. Can I get the breakfast sandwich? Uh, but instead of the English muffin, may I have white bread? So our very first morning as a married couple, it's gonna be awkward no matter what, but it's like early in the morning and I barely open my eyes and he's already on the phone ordering breakfast. So this man is extremely passionate about breakfast. It was actually one of the first things he brought up to his wife. When she admitted to him that she preferred dinner, it was almost as if all of the joy faded from his eyes. Here's a question for you, weird question now. So what's your favorite meal? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I would say dinner. What about yours? Breakfast. Look, I get it. Breakfast is good, but you gotta ease into the breakfast talk. In general, I would recommend waiting until she wakes up and then talking about breakfast. Honestly, the more I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure this guy was only on the show for the free breakfast. Do you have evaporated milk? <laughs> you do not. Evaporated milk? Like, who does that? <laughs> I'll take the breakfast sandwich, some sausages, uh, some hash browns. A, a stack of Horton Here's a Who pancakes. Of course I want the frosting. Who would order this without the frosting? Babe, how do you take your Hortons? One thing about me, I don't really try new foods. <laughs> it sounds like it was really important to this guy that he was matched with somebody who also likes breakfast. I don't know how the experts could mess this up. So you're willing to marry a whole stranger but not try new food? Yes. Listen, if you're the type of person to turn down a stack of Hortons, I don't think this is gonna work out. Alright, anyway, that's it for breakfast, guy. We gotta get back to the main quest line now. So this has already been a little bit awkward, but this next part takes it to an entirely new level. This honeymoon process has just been, like, such a learning experience for me and very, very eye-opening. Um, I gotta say, not at all what I expected. Really? Yeah. So he keeps telling her that he needs to build attraction, but then he doesn't really want to spend time with her to, to build that attraction. And then when she's like, what's the deal? This is really strange. He's like, oh, really? What's what's wrong? What's going on? I feel like, I mean, I know you've really been listening to me and I really appreciate that. And, and I see that you're like being really considerate and I really appreciate that. But today I noticed that you weren't wearing your ring. So I just want to mention that by this point, every other couple on the show has been pretty affectionate with each other, even through the arguing and disagreements they've had. Whereas this guy has barely even kissed her since the wedding day and kind of treats her more like an inconvenience than anything. He speaks to her as if he's always trying to just make small talk and then move on with the rest of his day. You're obviously a really smart, intelligent guy. And I 
everybody else is wearing their rings. So it just, it hurt my feelings. It really did. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't make excuses for it. I can't, I really can't speak to it. I just... I can't make excuses, but you know what I can make? A little word salad. You ready for this one? Here we go. He pulls out a hat from behind his back and starts picking words on little scraps of paper. What do we got? Compromise? All right, here we go. Inspire? Good. For me, from an optimism standpoint, I think we can, as much as we've hung out and we, as much time as we've had, She's like, again with this shit? What is going on? Do the experts think I'm into random word generators or something? Do they think I have a thing for that? He started this off by saying from an optimism standpoint. What does that mean? Why wouldn't it be from an optimistic standpoint? Why would you be not optimistic about the marriage? Why is that? Why does that even need to be said? What I look for in building attraction is when I leave and I'm not around you, do I miss you? Do I want to see? Do I get excited about seeing you? But you guys just met. You're married. You're on your honeymoon. You're not supposed to spend a ton of time apart on your honeymoon. And again, why and how would you miss somebody that you literally don't even know? I've, I've never been in this position. I've never really been in this position before. So it's hard for me to come out and say that I don't know what to do. Yeah. And I, and I don't know which direction to go. And me extending myself to say, help me figure this out. You know. So at this point, he is literally asking her to help him be more attracted to her. I, I have never seen anything like this. How is somebody supposed to respond to that? And how does he not see how crazy of a question that is? And maybe it's not something you can say, like, Zach, let me help you figure out attraction. No problem. I got you, boo. But it's what like... What do you want me to do? I know, be I know, like, I know, I know. Be... Hey, dude, just look at my eyes. Watch it. Breast <laughs> implants this. or something? Like, right. dude... Whoa, jeez. <laughs> I mean, like, what the do you want and me not to do? put that on my questionnaire. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh God, this is rough. What do, what does he expect her to say to that? How is she supposed to answer that question? And the worst thing about this is her family didn't even go to the wedding because they didn't agree with the whole thing at all and they didn't want to support it because they didn't think it would turn out well. And then this happens. You're asking me what you should do no, to no, make no, you no. more attracted to me. No, 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 I'm not asking, I'm not asking you to give me an answer to that. I'm just simply saying, it, it takes a lot for me to admit that I don't have the right answer and I don't know what to do. Are you beginning to understand why I said this? Don't you think this would be perfect, these two together? Could you imagine that? They could have just like switched these couples to see how it, how it would go. I've been trying to give him a chance, but the guy's, the guy's a head. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm a little speechless right now. So the way this show works is after the honeymoon, they move into an apartment together for like a month or two. But of course, Zach doesn't want to move into the apartment, so she moves in by herself. He's still trying to claim that he cares about the marriage and wants to make it work, yet he doesn't spend any time with her. He barely goes, I don't even think he actually does go to the apartment for like the first few weeks. All right, so Zach is about to explain why he hasn't moved in yet, but is still committed to the marriage. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Coming off of what transpired on the honeymoon, uh, coming back into town, even though things went okay for us on a smaller scale, um, I went with what feels right to go into the situation. That is so many extra words just to say, I didn't move in because I don't want to. <laughs> like, dude, just say that. Just say, I don't fucking want to be married. There's two bedrooms there. He won't even move in at all. He could he could stay in another room. He doesn't want anything to do with her. You know, there is a reset button that has oh, to Oh, great. Hit, Here we go. Yeah. Another monologue. So another explanation from this guy. Yeah, I'm talking over him. It doesn't even matter. He's not saying anything. That's kind of the goal here. Versus me moving in and throwing myself in the situation. It, it just, it'll go against, you know, as you can probably tell, I'm losing my patience here. I, I don't know how anybody could live with this guy or be near this guy at all. Has she ever thought about that she even want this guy around? This guy might be one of the most frustrating people I've ever seen. And you still haven't seen anything. This, this gets so much worse. So I'm coming to meet with Mindy and then with Zach because I have to get to the bottom of why they've chosen not to move in together. Good luck, my friend. I don't care what kind of degree you have or what sort of expert you are, you don't stand a chance. You will never get a straight answer out of this guy. Never. It's, it's actually kind of terrifying how he refuses to ever answer a question. You know, all these attributes, all these things check the boxes, right? And for me personally, you know, chemistry is kind of that intangible that you you just can't manufacture. Did I accidentally stumble into the twilight zone? What what is am I being punked? And that drives things towards attraction, right? That that fuels your intensity to be able to Holy shit, dude, just say how you're feeling. How you are feeling, not some weird hypothetical scenario on how people may feel or I don't even know. I'm starting to have a hard time speaking after listening to this guy for so long. I'm always trying to find the right answers. I'm always trying to do things right, 
but I don't feel chemistry and no matter what type of attraction comes up based on, you know, similarities based on I don't even know what to say anymore. I've never been at such a loss for words, honestly. He's just cycling through the same like combination of words over and over again. I've never seen anything like this. Do you have a preconceived notion of what you want and she's not it? But then maybe now I can say not I'm comfortable with you. I know who you are. Disregarding you or me. Towards no. You know, she's athletic looking. She has an athletic background. Um, she's intellectual, she's funny. Okay, then what's what's the issue? Every time he's confronted about this, he's basically like, oh, I like her, she's great. Where, where are you as far as your desire to keep going? I think Mandy's an amazing, or Mandy's an amazing person. He just called her Mandy. Did you hear that? He just said Mandy. He has thought about her so few times, he doesn't even know her name yet. It's his wife. He doesn't know his wife's name. Okay, so obviously he didn't explain anything there, so we're just gonna move on. And it turns out that he has been texting one of Mindy's friends. When when was the last time you texted? Or talked he to him? He texted me this morning. He texted you this morning. Okay, how, how many times have you talked over the phone? I don't think... I think two times, three times, like it hasn't been very much. Oh, great. As if he couldn't get any worse. And now look, even her friend is a bad person. He won't even talk to and spend any time with his wife, but he's texting his wife's friend all the time and, and having phone calls. I felt like we were building a friendship outside of just about you. Okay. I asked him about that. I, I did question him on- What like, did he say? He said, but then maybe now I can say that I'm comfortable saying, with you. I know who you are. It's really unfortunate that she's still giving this guy a chance because he clearly is not worth it at all. And if you thought this was all really bad, just wait for the grand finale here. Now he tries to gaslight her into thinking everything was her fault and that there's something all along that she's been doing wrong. When you said you gave this an honest effort, you haven't been honest with me. And from the marriage, before the marriage, to the honeymoon. This is an insanely manipulative and cruel thing to do, and it's just on a different level than anything I could have expected. I've seen people do some really terrible, hurtful things on reality TV shows, and this is up there as being one of the worst. After all of this, to try and convince her that everything has been her fault is just straight up twisted. What are you talking about? Just think about. There's full honesty there, is what you're telling me. You've been honest this whole time, up front with me. Yes. Please think hard. Isn't this guy just the worst? Honestly, they should have just removed him from the show entirely before it got to this point because this is just really bad. The fact that he refuses to even say what he's referring to says everything. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's fine. Like, I, I there's things I understand. I, like, I don't know what else to say. But like, I don't know what you're talking about. But I don't, I think you should probably think. Oh yeah, and you've been perfect this whole time. There's nothing that you've done has been weird or wrong or just hurtful. Because I don't know what you're talking about. It's not my place anymore to say it. I think you're making up some Are you serious? Yes. Okay, well no, that's not the truth. Okay. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. All right, I can't take this anymore. Get him out of my sight. Anyway, I rest my case. These two belong together. They could just gaslight each other all day, complain about Frisbee golf, and just spit word salad. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I hope your headache goes away soon, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. I don't realize that those words that I had just, they, they sit and they pierce. Yeah, I do like a lot of things about you, but these first few days have been really, really rough. Right you know, still you trying to process the thought of me saying such words, right? And me where I'm just like, I say it, I'm like, oh, cool, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. And I move on from it, understanding like, no, 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 wait, come back because I still feel this way.